Oke okay guys, kita memasuki ke game pertama match kedua cuy antara Burmis Gold melawan Dios Four. Kita kembali melihat kit bomba guys ya. Dan ada saksa sakta Delarski cuy. Mamas Delar guys ya. Untuk saksa sendiri itu roster dari tim SMG guys kemarin. Ya sama sih, jadi junglernya juga. Dios Ford sendiri sih uh, cuma Hiko doang guys ya Itu sama magis, uh, Magister kemarin gue lihat sih actually, is there, ready to fight, but nobody contesting, uh, the Ini Cici lawan Martis uh, cuy Berani banget ya probably use the ultimate but it's not the best target to gank actually the Martis can easily dodge all of this CC yeah and speaking of Martis you can tell he's definitely going a little bit more defensive right he picked up the concussive blast um, over there uh, so I'm definitely going to be kind of keeping my eyes on him on the bot side though you are going to be seeing uh, Stitch running on this Natan going up against Hiko on the carry both really good heroes when it comes to bursting down your opponents and it's going to be a battle of who can get to the late game items first now I would definitely expect some heavy prioritization into the gold lanes if you can delay either the Natan or the carry uh, by getting a kill on them especially this early in the game it's going to be huge to be able to take control of this match as we are going to go ahead and see both teams ready to rotate around Turtle has spawned in and Soxa and Magister in position for the aggro and the Minotaur and the Ruby, which is are the roamers, trying to take the level 4 on the mid lane, which uh, not going to work, obviously, but if Turtle is being farmed, the team gonna get it, level it. 4 first. No. And the uh, Guinevere going Sucks in voila, right into the Saksa and the follow up with the team, which make the kill, bling, but the Dlar is is no. all, uh, <laughs> revenging their, his fallen jungler with his Dlar, own ultimate too, too. and nice trying to get the Dlar. W, which absolutely works with the concussive mm, blast you saw, mentioned, guys. which uh, <laughs> make uh, unnecessary damage and going for the turtle I guess it's not I ah, the success is not free to join uh, right there and the turtle is going to get farmed and that's gonna be a Sucks double kill oh, for a double okay, kill. Can Bomba able to get one first? And Barret, and three, right this. on his back with the decimation is able to claim that and get the turtle. And now maybe able to get a kill as Sunset Lever trying to get out. Big flicker play. Able to escape Bling. one HP. And now the flank from the side push in the mid lane. Can oh, Bomba trying to bro. find on Magister. Very low <laughs> using the spatial migration to deep expand that distance study, yeah. back to his orange buff. Yeah, 300 gold difference and red buff being farmed. And again, like gold laners are <laughs> just like just like X planers. Like I don't know, just one v one. And the uh, carry is actually being pressured a lot here. Uh, ultimate probably popped out on the Nathan uh, here. Minotaur gonna get for the bot lane for some heals, and the Ruby is reading uh, that kind of behavior rotating as well. And the Guinevere going to. Gank Nathan, I guess, but it's going to go be down hard because of yeah. the pet, uh, purified. Yeah, definitely going to be a challenge. Both teams even so far, as we are looking at Myanmar up against Russia, Deuce Volts up against Burmese Ghouls. Kid Bamba, a crowd favorite, definitely leading the way so far. Highest kills on the board for the side of Deuce, uh, Deuce Volts and then Burmese Ghouls leading the way with Dlar stampeding through 2-0-0. Zero, zero. Interesting enough. It's both XP laners leading the way in terms of the kills right now for both sides. We are seeing some heavy focus onto the bot lane. You can see the I'm Affin to go in, catch Sawo, but not able to deal massive damage. Yeah, immediately heals uh, back to almost full with the uh, basic region. And uh, seems like nobody is going to gank the bot lane because uh, the stacked up roamers on top of the gold laners, nobody wanted to risk it. Everybody wants like kind of unexpected attack and this is absolutely expected. Okay, 300 gold actually is still holding up to <laughs> after the couple of minutes in. Uh, it means actually that all of the teams, oh, that's a... A uh, good thing is uh, Kerry is doing, making Nathan lose one Ballista, which is like 100 gold. And uh, team on this level absolutely understand. Two, two, this nah. being pumped, but yeah, 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 for the uh, 
pure damage Mark is doing with his ultimate tipis cocok gaming gitu ya. secure the turtle but on the other hand Ruby is actually ulting on the carry and bawahnya guys. gonna kill the carry as well and that's big for Burmese goals and on top of that trying to even steal the red buff no retribution being used on Baxia still but uh, yeah that's a good sweep by Burmese goals Yeah, able to get that turtle to give him a massive XP boost as well. Off to a great start. Now taking advantage for the early game, at least leading the way. But on the top side, Nico and Dilar up against Kid Bamba. Stitch will take a turn on the bot lane. Kid Bamba very low, dealing some massive damage. So able to get Dilar. We'll shut him down. Softer though from the side. Nico to Wiwis. Kid Bamba, maybe able to take him down. Wiwis, banget bro. Kid Bamba able to escape with one HP. Showcasing his mastery over there on the CC. Four to three so far. Burmese leading the way in terms of kills, Monster but in the mid lane, the narrative oh. may change. Magister expanding that distance with the spatial migration, yeah, able, able to get back to safety, and now focusing on Ooh. the purple buff. Wow, so good to see. Dengan Sawo yang kemarin itu selebrasi Ronaldo guys. First skill couldn't even stop. Semua sih guys. You you can really I I I saw this kind of behavior when you you jump you know flying in and you kind of like circling him and he can't like touch you. Si Nico, walah Nico malah masuk kadang macan guys ya. Wow. Aduh, gak selamanya Black situ menyelamatkanmu guys guys. Not ultimate, but just first skill with the flick. Bundir, on the immediately followed up with other CC and now he's All going English. to probably ultimate here first skill being so, so, on the back should be noted yeah. but he is trying to burst down Ooh. him no burst down here like Guinevere tried to go even further probably should just enjoy the backshot kill not go for more but try to go for more and eventually didn't kill backshot Yeah, Stitch able to pick up his first kill though, which means it's going to put him a little bit ahead of Hiko on this carry. Now leading 5100 to 4900 for Hiko right behind him. Did pick up the Golden Staff though and the Corrosive Scythe. Hiko trying to get those core items. Feather Heaven picked up over there from Stitch alongside the Arcane Boots and the Holy Crystal. A lot of uh, magic damage and pin. Uh, which should be translated into some massive output as he engages in these 5v5s. But like we said, it's uh, four to four on the scoreboard. Burmese schools was able to take that first turtle. Second one has spawned in. Can we see Deuce Holtz contest this? Yeah, they probably, I mean, the Burmese goals is the one who gonna contest it probably. Uh, when you were trying to like, they trying to, It seems like they're trying to just bait the fight because they're not hitting the turtle, not trying to just just like I said with the little gun. You remember, like they going for the objectives and the Dios Wolf is kind of baiting for the fight. Ruby is immediately getting follow up with the almost killing on Nana Proc. The passive, uh, exactly to be exact, and uh, no good answers from Dios Wolf actually is, might result the Lord kill here. Yeah, Stitch able to take his second kill of the game. Takes down Hiko, actually, the marksman for the side of Deuce Fultz, which now is going to give him a massive advantage and compared to the marksman's both scaling to that late game. And then I want to kind of put some presence on Dilar. Some great rotations across the map. He cleared his lane and then went to go join the fight on the uh, turtle, which allowed uh, oh, them to get turret Lord advantage Yang for the side guys. of Burmese schools. Now leading up by one turret and also able to claim that turret for the uh, turtle for the XP boost. Lord has spawned in Burmese schools. At a slight advantage now, leading by 2,000 gold. May be able to clash it out and win these fights. Hiko, off to a little bit of a rough start. Yeah, rough start a little bit, but uh, the carries also can't find the kind of um, space for a good fight. Always being in the range of that uh, ultimate of Ruby and being not being able to like kind of dodge oh, the second skill or guys. the flicker. Kind of should go with it. Purify, I guess, but uh, it's uh, too late. Need to work with the flicker now. Yeah, and you're looking at uh, two purifies from Stitch and Nico, which would work great when Sawa tries to pop up that Minoan Fury. But went them on cooldown, could see a possible set on the way. Aggro from the Lord has been pulled, sitting at 50% HP. Kid Bamba rotating around, having some good zone, and trying to keep the side of Burmese schools at bay. But it looks like they may be able to take this uh, board. You're looking at a concealed play called out, though. Soxa winding up inside of the wheel, trying to find somebody to crash into. No. Double set with the I'm offended. Well, uh, yeah. Catching two members of Deuce Falls. Big knockup, though, all the way to. from the Minoan Fury. Burmese schools trying to hold down. Get Bomba. It's a massive blow. Oh, my God, guys. Stitch is going to be triple kill, bro. Hiko-nya, bro. Gila. Gila. 
Eh, Iko roster barunya Devu sih, guys. Lihat aja, bro. Iya. Terlalu berani sih kalau Burbis Gold ambil apa namanya? Ambil perang duluan ya. Udah ada Nana ditambah Minotaur cuy Banteng merah dilawan guys Kalah ya kalah Niko Masih aman Kalah Lordnya lah dari mid guys ya Yeah, now with this Lord, you may be able to see Deuce Volts claim some more of these turrets. They are now leading up by one, able to take the tier one turret in the mid lane, which means now they have the opportunity to invade the orange and purple bus with little to no contest from Burmese schools, force them a little bit further back in their jungle. And you are going to see uh, Kit Bamba. Great rotation around. We'll be able to proxy off this lane, take the tier two turret on the top side, and now a siege for the tier two in the mid. Yeah, tier two is Lord is being crushed mm -hmm. pretty fast, and the second wave of minions on the mid lane probably gonna Tindal result in tier two tower. tower plus but satu the inner, mm. Deus Volt uh, actually enjoying like yeah, inner uh, three tower mid, towers, yeah. and that's gonna be the Lord. Okay. Uh, called for good Lord, I guess. Wah, dua tinggal tiga bestar doang guys. Kita lihat saja boy. Ah, oh, fuck ah. Dengan Lord selanjutnya bisa bikin base Burmese Gulls tumbang ya. In M5 over Burmese Gulls, losing to Blacklist and placing fourth place, showing that they've definitely been practicing since the World Tournament. Burmy schools though can't count them out just yet. Definitely have a shot. It's only five, uh, five to seven. They're only down by two in terms of kills. But in terms of gold, you're looking at a three thousand gold lead for the side of Deuce Volts. Yeah, and the map control just uh, fade uh, back to Burmese goals. They kind of Deuce Volt kind of didn't want a uh, presence here on the uh, enemy side of map and just went back let. Burmese goals go out probably maybe for next their attack. Yeah, and you're looking at the item showcased on the board so far. Nana, Sunset Lover, even though he's not high in kills, he has some massive magic damage. Has the uh, genius one also stacked up the divine glave. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit of a You're looking at uh, some good ground control, Deuce Volts playing very comfortably, but they are gonna lose that bot side. Nobody there to kind of fend off those minions. Kid Bamba trying to get there in time, but it will fall. There will be another turret into the hands of Burmese Ghouls, and now currently still down by three. They still need to find a way to equalize this economy. When it comes to the 5v5 engagement, we've seen Deuce Volts able to kind of win it, win it out. Hiko pulling off that massive triple kill and also allowing them to get the Lord has definitely turned this back around in their favor. But can they maintain this lead or will we see Burmese Ghouls find a way to disrupt their synergy? Yeah, and the Nana having this uh, James Bond stats uh, <laughs> gonna try to, I don't know, get some kills probably in the next uh, fight. Nathan here with the Ruby trying to maybe pick some random kills uh, on the other side oh, of the map. Lord, the Lord, Lord guys, yeah. knowing that whole team of Deus Wolves are probably Kalian gonna dulu, get for the Bagusnya Lord. Bagusnya Deus Wolves dari dulu guys ya. Mereka tuh jarang guys mulai duluan ya. Nunggu dibantai dulu guys. <laughs> Baru dibantai balik gitu loh. Salah satu roster terkuat juga sih and, uh, di... Kemana namanya? Dikem But it's a battle of patience, right? Both teams trying to bait mm -hmm. out some utility to be able to engage and take this neutral objective. Yeah, just like it's saw, like it, you you can clearly see what I meant by the why little gun is going for the 50-50 lord. Like, see, Deus will don't want to go towards the 50-50 lord. They bait an enemy to attack the enemy oh, and nah, only ini, then taking the lord. Exactly guys, what the lord. I was, uh, asking, like, sak -sak why, why, why do you want to go for eh? this fight? <laughs> okay, Speaking of fights, Kid Bamba, 
Now taking a little bit of damage. Well, Lord, now free guys. HP. HP being activated no, by Stitch. A little early. Not inside of the Lord Pit, though. Magister. Oh, so oh, oh, I'm going to go in for the punish. Knock up. Make no theory. Going to go ahead and get Saksa 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 airborne. Oh, the Lord Not to be able to kill Hiko, though. We'll take down the Lord. Nyawa Saksa ditukarkan gelar, guys. Also, a Lord into the hands. Dari Saksa Saksa gak jadi mati, bro. Kita lihat aja, guys. Dengan Lord yang kedua ini. Right immediately. Apakah bisa langsung N ya? Gonna go ahead and sink these lanes. Lord will be making his way on the top side. Will the shields of Burmese schools all the way out from Myanmar be able to hold off the dagger from Russia with Deuce Volts pushing through? The mid lane is being probably gonna get pushed, and the top lane, uh, actually, Lord is going to cast his skill on the turret. And yeah, we're trying to catch the ruby here, jumping in, having the second phase of the second skill. Baiting all three lanes is being pressed by the Lord and other two lanes by the heroes. Mid lane eh, dapat satu sawo. already. Ultimate here, Apa malah gak bahaya, guys. super risky. He still gets sawo. the ultimate. Aduh, gak bisa lompat. Sawo aman kah? His own aman baik. Ayo lo empat lawan lima lo. Saksa mati gak tuh? Aduh. Tertutup bang guys. Ya ya. Allah. Itu double kill bro guys. Wipe out ya guys ya. Ada satu kecapul ah ada minum atas sih. Jadi cuy. Nice try buat timnya The Lars kaya. Masih ada dua game lagi kalau dipakai semua guys ya. Karena ini best of three series cuy. Kita lanjut aja ke game yang kedua guys ya. Terima kasih semuanya dan mantap kali dosa. Bye bye.